guys. So as you guys already seen in the title, today's vlog is going to be a mixture of self-care because child, I've been falling off. Like my nails haven't been done in forever. Lashes wear. A pedicure is necessary at this point. And yeah, I just need to get myself together. Like motherhood has been doing this big one on me. Like I be putting myself so last in terms of like how I look, my clothes, everything. So we're going to try to get this momentum going and bring Keisha back. I've also been dealing with like really, really bad um, postpartum hair loss. Really bad, y'all. Like it's like I can't even touch my hair without it shedding in my hand. So I recently just got over it and took some scissors and just cut it. But like, I don't know if you guys can even see like it's like coming off on my shirt. So any recommendations, drop it in the comments. I've been taking hair vitamins. So I've been using a hair oil. I don't know what to try at this point. So if y'all have any recommendations, drop it in the comments down below. My skin has also been really dry, which is weird because I'm usually really oily. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I was breaking out. So I started using my Curology again, which has been helping with the acne. But this dry skin, I don't know. I'm forming to dry skin because I'm, like I said, I'm an oily girl. So drop recommendations. <laughs> so I need all the recommendations at this point. Like all of it. But yes, y'all, so we are going to do our hair today. I actually booked an appointment to get my hair cut shorter than this. I'm going for like a Kim K, Lori Harvey bob cut. So it's probably going to be like this much chopped off. Yes, but I know it's just hair is going to grow back and I've cut my hair before. Probably not this short though, but I've definitely cut my hair before. Um, so I'm hoping that kind of helps with the shedding, like at least minimize it a little bit. I don't have any other appointments, but I'm going to see if I could maybe run off and get my nails done today. If I don't do that today, you guys will see um, lashes and nails in another day within this vlog. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited about that. You guys are going to see like the whole process of me getting my hair done. And hopefully it helps with the shedding because I know the key to healthy hair is to make sure you get it cut, trimmed, treated, all of that stuff. I've actually never tried this person before, um, but based on like her Instagram and stuff like that, um, her reviews and everything look really good. Her um, before and after is like really good. Like she does a really good job. So I'm excited to try her and hopefully it works out the way that I want it to work out. Um, and it looks good. I need to get back to myself bad <laughs> i'm supposed to be going back to work in two months i'm dreading it i'm so dreading it like dreading it. it's bad y'all but yeah so we have um an exciting weekend ahead i don't know if that's going to be in this vlog as well but journey is getting christened actually all the kids are getting christened i didn't christen Jalen because i was so young when i had her i didn't even know nothing about it and with jules like i had such a complicated pregnancy and just things were just so all over the place i didn't even think about a christening after giving birth I, that was like the last thing on my mind was christening so luckily the pastor at the church said that while we do journeys christening he'll dedicate the other two and then later on we'll do like a baptism for them since they're of age but yeah so that's this sunday and then my first outing is going to be this weekend also i'm actually going to like a day brunch party type thing so i'm excited for that it's um all white which works because we're wearing all white for the christening too. So I was able to get two all white outfits. I actually do have to, you guys will see in this vlog, I have to take my dress to, um, I have to take my dress for the christening to get it tailored because yeah, it's like, it goes up by my waist, but after that it just gets stuck. And yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna make that work if, there's no elasticity in the dress, like, you know, for me to even pull it up any further. So I'm gonna try it on with my Faja. Hold on, y'all, let's go first. So yeah, I was saying that I'm gonna just try on the dress with the Faja. It it's, should fit with the Faja, but just in case, I might have to take it to the tailors, which I really don't want to because they charge so much money. Like by the time I pay for them to just take, make a little space up top, it's like the price of a whole new dress so i'm hoping that the faha does what it needs to do i'm on my last latch on the faha which is like sucking me all the way in so i'm hoping it does what it needs to do so i don't have to do that but yeah if i do y'all will be coming with me to the tailors in this vlog as well because it's for the dress that i'm wearing to the christening and like i said that's this sunday so i really don't want them to like prolong it and then i have nothing to wear at all so yeah, so let's get this day started. Hey guys, so I just got back in the house. Well, didn't just get back in the house, but when you guys saw me in the last clip, I was actually dropping the kids off to school and stopping to get my morning Starbucks. Um, so I just got out the shower, got dressed. I'm gonna show you guys what I threw on really quick. 
So really quickly, I just threw on this white bodysuit from Zara. These pants are from like either Pretty Little Thing or Fashion Nova. I'm not sure, but I love them because you can adjust them at the bottom and the booty be bootying. And then in terms of my hair, I just put it in like this little clip because we're about to get it done anyways. And I threw these little pieces down in the front for a little razzle dazzle. <laughs> Nothing crazy. I'm probably going to throw on my lost and found and some shades i don't know but yeah this is the little outfit of the day it's giving very effortless very simple very i'm gonna go get my hair done ish but yeah so that's the little outfit of the day nothing special i put a little concealer on nothing crazy we just gonna run errands today speaking of errands i actually did try on the dress with the baja which was super annoying because if y'all ever put on a baja y'all know how annoying it is to buckle it up especially on the last hook it took me like a good 10 minutes probably to put the faha on but it's still not to zip so i still have to make the run to the um dry cleaners to see if they could fix my dress on the side otherwise i'm probably gonna have to drive around and see if i could find an alternative option for my outfit on sunday for the christening but yeah i'm actually running late i wanted to leave the house at 11 i think it's like 10 50 something so i'll see you guys in a few yeah i'm so annoyed I went to the dry cleaners, right, to see about the dress, and they told me that in order for them to fix it, they would have to add fabric because the zipper is a type of zipper, is an invisible zipper, so they would have to, if I wanted to keep that zipper, they would have to add fabric, right? So I'm like, okay, cool, how much would that cost? So they told me to try on the dress, and she's like, oh, we have to add 40 inches of fabric. Now I know my back is wide, but it ain't that damn wide now. 40 inches is really dragging it. She tells me that the price for that is $36. For a dress that I paid $15 for? No, absolutely not. I'm not paying $36 for a dress that was $15. <sighs> I'm so annoyed because I'm like, that was unnecessary. 40 inches is wild crazy. I think I really think she dragged it, but <sighs> I don't know. So you know me, I'm the first person I run to is my husband. And yeah, we might just have to make a run to Zara or something because I'm not paying nobody $36 to fix a dress that was $15. That's absolutely insane. I'm not. But yeah, I'm on my way to the hair salon now, to my hair appointment. And I hope I can find parking because that whole stopping at the um, tailors for absolutely no reason kind of killed Tom because there was a lady ahead of me. And now GPS is saying I'm going to get there at 11.48. And my appointment is for 12 and parking is trash in New York. So I'll see y'all when I get to the hair salon. I just have to vent real quick, give y'all a little TED talk about my um, experience of the lady basically telling me I had a wide bag because 40 inches of fabric to go wear. Like, what? With every passing moment, thoughts of you run through my head. Every time. gosh y'all i was so caught up in a conversation like y'all know when y'all get your hair done y'all be conversating and having like you know the best girl talk but the bob is stiff wear okay stiff wear i'm gonna insert like my little reel that i made so that y'all could see but i am in love like 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 like you cannot tell me that this hair does not look good it feels so much it looks so much healthier it looks so nice and sleek like oh i'm so happy it's everything that i thought it was gonna be i can't wait to get my lashes done and my nails done so i could be 100 percent right now i'm giving 25 but it's okay like because we look good already like we look so good already i cannot i cannot get over myself but yeah um where are we going i'm going home to get something to eat because i'm really starving and i don't want to eat outside food because my husband made a bomb pasta last night so i'm gonna eat some leftovers and um maybe i could go to the nail salon later i don't know we gonna see but i see i'm gonna get back to the house call me babiana okay drop babiana in the comments because babiana is babiana 
morning guys so it's obviously the next day um i just got back in the house from dropping the kids off to school it was kind of like a hectic morning so i didn't even want to vlog like it was so hectic i didn't even stop to get starbucks like it's just the way people drive in new york really grinds my gears and i hate driving as is but when you have people that just feel like they're so entitled and they want to you know get crazy speak crazy talk to you crazy all type of stuff i'm not top for that so I am coming straight home, but we have a lot of stuff to do today. I want to go get my nails done. Um, the nail salon is open till like 11. I want to get there as soon as it opens because I'm going to have a journey with me. Um, and I'm not trying to be in there all day. So I have to go to the nail salon. I have to go to Target. Um, I have to get a car wash. Um, I think that's it in between there. Someone remind me in the comments to stop and get something to eat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't book my lash appointment yet. I'll probably do that either tomorrow or Saturday. And I may or may not go to Zara today or tomorrow. It depends on what time I finish doing everything because, like I said, um, I'm going to have to pick the kids up from school around like 4. So, yeah. I want to leave the house at like 10.30. And it is 9.27 now. So, I'm probably going to get something, make something to eat really quick since I didn't get my breakfast. <sighs> and then head out. But, y'all... I'm so obsessed with my hair. I didn't really get to talk to you guys much about it on camera. First of all, shout out to the hairstylist because she delivered exactly what I wanted. Like, let me do a 360. It's buying. Hold on. It's a body in. Oh, <laughs> let me stop. But, yeah. She did amazing. Like, my hair feels so healthy. It's giving body. It's giving, like, effortless. Get up and go. I am obsessed. And then the entire appointment was a vibe. Like, good conversation laughs like it went from hair appointment to therapy session real quick like it was so good and i love when you could just vibe with a person like that um so yeah i really love the outcome i really think that i'm gonna keep it short like i'm gonna try to maintain the short length for a while because i love how this bob looks on me i love how it frames my face i just love it everything about it it's just it's giving i can't wait to get my lashes done and my nails done so i could really be giving but yeah, let me hurry up and make something to eat so we could go ahead to this nail appointment. Um, I think I'm going to do nails. What should I do first? I'm going to do nails, car wash, target first. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Nails, car wash, target so that way I could just go straight. <laughs> but yeah, let me go ahead and get something to eat and I'll see you guys at the nail salon. So I just pulled up at the nail salon and I'm a little bit early so I'm going to make Journey about to get her stuff ready because I just have a feeling like when I get in there she's going to wake up. And um, yeah, I don't know what I should do with my nails. I was really obsessed with the almond style nails the last time I came here but at the same time I kind of want to do like a cute French like you know short French tip. So I don't know. I don't know. But see you guys when I get to the nail salon or when I get inside the nail salon rather. and she was good and now she's just like having a whole fit so yeah I'm on my way to Target I gotta pull over to see what's wrong with her the struggle the mother struggle <laughs> but I'll see you guys when I get to Target alright guys so I just left Target I'm gonna head home I have a really bad headache off that Auntie Annie's and got me a pretzel and yeah um nothing else is being done today so i will see you guys tomorrow because this is tired i'm beat like really odb but yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow um i should be doing lashes tomorrow 
if I can secure an appointment. So I'm going to do that today. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.